Have you ever wondered why it rains? It's not just about the sky feeling a little weepy. No, the answer to this question is a tad more scientific. It's all about understanding the water cycle. Think of the earth as a giant recycling plant, but instead of plastic and paper, it's water that's being reused. This process, known as the water cycle, is the planet's way of conserving its water supply. It's an endless loop where water from oceans, rivers, and lakes gets heated by the sun, evaporates, rises up into the sky, cools down to form clouds, and eventually falls back as rain. It's like a magical water elevator going up and down, round and round. It's what brings us those refreshing showers on a hot summer day, or those cozy, drizzly mornings we love so much. So to answer that question, we need to take a closer look at the water cycle. The water cycle might seem complex, but it's actually quite simple when broken down. Let's start with the first stage, evaporation. This is where water from seas, lakes, and even puddles turns into an invisible gas known as water vapor. The sun with its warm golden rays is the main driver of this process. It heats up the water, giving those tiny water molecules enough energy to break free and rise into the air. Now on to the second stage, condensation. As these water vapor molecules ascend into the cooler parts of the atmosphere, they start to lose the energy they gained from the sun. As they cool down, they transform back into tiny droplets of liquid water, clinging together to form clouds. It's a bit like how a cold glass of lemonade on a hot day gets all misty on the outside. That's condensation in action. Finally, we reach the third stage, precipitation. When too many water droplets gather in a cloud, they become too heavy to stay afloat. So they fall back down to the earth in the form of rain, snow, or hail, depending on the weather conditions. It's like when you're carrying too many groceries and have to drop some to lighten your load. So, the water cycle is a continuous process of water evaporating, condensing, and precipitating. That's how rain comes to be. Now that we understand the water cycle, we can answer the question, why does it rain? You see, rain is a result of the precipitation stage of the water cycle. Imagine a big fluffy cloud in the sky. It's not just a heap of vapor, but a bustling city of tiny water droplets, all formed when water vapor cools down and condenses. These droplets stick together, forming a cloud. As more and more droplets join the party, the cloud grows heavier. Eventually, these droplets become too heavy to float in the sky. That's when they start their journey towards the earth, falling as rain. It's like a grand parade in the sky with each droplet playing a part in this wonderful natural process. Rain is not just about getting wet or carrying an umbrella. It's about appreciating the intricate workings of our planet. So every time you see rain, remember it's just a part of the wonderful water cycle. But why is rain important, you may ask? Well, rain plays a vital role in our world. It quenches the thirst of our green friends, the plants, and replenishes our rivers and lakes. But it doesn't stop there. Rain is also a necessity for all living creatures, including us, humans. It's like a life-giving shower sent from the skies. So next time when it rains, don't just see it as a gloomy day, but as a crucial part of life on Earth. 